Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor, the flavor, the flavor train. Get on the flavor train with your girl, Lady T. Ooh, yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Tanya Lady T, and you know what time it is. It's time to get on the flavor train because the tickets are free. Y'all, I had to go on a do the daggone thing. I was craving, craving some like smothered pork chops with gravy and onions, some mac and cheese out the box, but who cares? Uh, who cares? And uh, I got me some corn on the cob. And y'all, we just doing some John Brown ice water today. Ice water. And we got some Aunt Nellie's beets that's going to be on the side over there in the corner pocket. And uh, we're going to say grace. Thank you, most gracious and heavenly Father, for the food I'm about to receive, for the nourishment of my body, for Christ's sake. Amen. I had already put some pepper. Ooh. I feel myself. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh, excuse me. I had already put some pepper on this corn, and it's up my nostrils. Y'all, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Oh, so hungry, y'all. Mm. Oh. oh, that's so good. Make it your own, y'all. Make it your own. Follow the box recipe, but honey, put your own get down in it. Whatever season is in your life, honey. And uh, I sprinkled a little salt on it, too. That pretty sweet corn. Mmm. So sweet. Let me bust the moon. Oh, so tender. You see how that knot just glide right through it? Get some onions on that bad boy. Y'all see that? Mmm. Oh, that's so tender. I was going to put some hot sauce on it. Mm -mm. I just want the flavor of that gravy and onion. Go ahead on and pat yourself on the back. When you go ahead on and make something good, y'all, don't you? You got to get your patty on. You got to just get your patty on. Somebody in the choir, I know y'all going to help a girl out cause, uh, and finish the song because I got to finish this food. Yeah. Anyway, y'all, it's been raining for two days. 
pretty much all day on and off. Oh. Y'all, that is so good. I almost bust out and made me some croissants, but I said, nah. I had bought some croissants. You know, Pillsbury croissants that you bake. Because I was going to make me some apple turnover. How you fry the apples, put a little sugar, butter, nutmeg, cinnamon. Fry it up in a the pan. Then roll those croissants out. Oh, somebody just got happy. And pour them apples on it and put it in. Oh, put them in the oven. And don't mess around and have you some bluebell homemade vanilla. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all, I have got to get to the grocery store. I have one onion left. Ain't nobody got time for that. One. One. Mm. Ain't nobody got time for that, y'all. Got to be careful with this juice. This juice stains, honey. Mmm. Ain't nothing like some good old pickle beet. Mmm. That center cut pork chop is so tender. Ooh, that gravy and that batter. Mmm. Thank y'all so much for showing my friends so much love. That really blessed my heart and hers. Y'all are faithful and I thank y'all. D and me, her YouTube channel. She's doing excellent. Y'all, she done already put out a second video. Oh my goodness. Y'all, we need to talk cold cash money junk to Tony. All these other people are starting their channels. I believe he low-key scurred. I believe he scurred, y'all. What y'all think? You think Big Bro is scared? I'm gonna be straight up right. I'm gonna. I'm finna switch. Y'all. This week, I ain't gonna lie. Oh wow, that's some good cold water. Water. Y'all. I 
I've been so lazy this week. Let me tell you, I get up, sign on, work. The girl ain't been doing nothing this week. Now, this week has gone by fast. We are almost back at the weekend. We'll get a long weekend off. Monday, of course. Oh, this is so good. Mm. Mm. That flavor is just out of sight. I'm gonna start watching the uh, series called Insecure. That's all I hear people talking about. But I'm gonna tell y'all, I have been binge watching nature videos. On YouTube, I was just looking up stuff like, you know, the life of squirrels, you know. So I've been looking up different stuff. And you know how YouTube, once they see you watching certain things, they'll recommend, recommend, recommend. Shout out to all the horse lovers out there. Well, I got the, I went down the horse hole, the rabbit hole, the fox hole, whatever you want to call it, and I started watching all these horse videos, how they have to have their shoes redone on their, you know, on the horse's feet, and then it, that took you to People who get kicked by horses when they're branding them or they get too close. Oh! Let me tell you something, honey. Total new respect for a horse. Are you kidding me? They got a bunch of videos where people, I guess, get too close to horse. They stand. If you stand in the wrong spot, of horses get spooked. So anyway, I just learned a lot just 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 by watching videos and watching people. And when they get ready to breed them, okay. Now this is what I want to talk about. Horses are used for therapy too for people. But anyway. So I was just fascinated. Like I said, I was watching all these horses videos. They even I was even deep in the hole where there was who who's the um uh, what is the tallest or the biggest horse in the world? The different breeds of horse, Budweiser, Stallion. I mean, you know, I went all down there and it was just fascinating. I love that kind of stuff. But y'all stop and hold the presses. Go call your mama, go call your daddy, go call your kids. There was one video clip. They were, I guess, getting ready to breed these two horses. Well, I guess the female horse, she won't studding it. She won't having it. And it looked like they were trying to corral the horses to make the horse back up to the so that the male could mount her. Wrong answer, honey. Homegirl, homegirl won't stop it. You hear what I'm saying to you? 
That horse must have run around two or three times. And let me tell y'all something here today, right now, right now, right now. Oh, God Almighty. That horse came around the bend and got right there in front of that horse, the other the male horse. In some kind of way, she bucked and kicked. She kicked the pure horse bleep out of that horse and killed him. Yeah, I paused for dramatic effect. Y'all, I ain't never seen. I want ready. I want ready because I was just looking at the uh, video, just being nosy. Just, like I said, YouTube recommend, recommend, and I, it, I, it, it happened so quick, and you could hear. Wait, hold on, y'all. You could hear. When the horse kicked, you can hear something crack. And it must have hit him just perfect. Because that horse, fed, I mean, fed, dropped immediately. And he just got stiff and started shaking. Y'all, I wasn't ready for nothing like that. I ain't even know stuff like that went on in the wild, honey. I felt so sorry for that horse. And when I say she literally kicked the horse, you know what I, manure, we'll say she kicked the horse manure. And I thought, mm, maybe that's where the, that saying come from. You know, ooh, he got the, the bleep kicked out of him. Uh, yeah, because literally that's what happened. When she kicked him, he dropped like it hot, like it was hot, and he dropped some other stuff like it was hot. Yeah. So, let me tell you something. In this animal kingdom, child, you better respect nature, honey. Yes, we have dominion, honey. But you better know when you walking in that arena. So, I went down in the comment section in the, or in the description section and then I went to the comment section to try to figure out what happened. I mean, why why did this happen? Was she not ready to be bred or conceived? I don't know what was going on. But in the comment section of that video, honey, they were letting the owners of those horses have it because they say you ain't supposed to do that and all that. But like I said, I don't have a horse in the fight, if you will. I was just watching it to learn, you know, because I was just interested, you know. I was outdone totally. Beautiful horses. Beautiful. But that was the end of that joker that day. Oh my God. Like I said, shout out to all the horse owners and all this is probably very familiar to you. But I didn't know that there is a risk that a horse could be killed when they're trying to put him together to mate. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. But anyway, I said, man, you don't never know what's out there on YouTube. You don't never know what people are recording and they catch stuff in the action. Wow, that just blew my mind. And some of those horses cost a lot of money. I guess just like certain breeds of dogs. Yeah, baby, if you want a purebred this or that, oh, baby, you're going to pay some money, honey, for, for pets. But yeah, y'all. But anyway, I got to looking at different videos for the squirrels and honey. 
It's very commonplace. People feed squirrels all the time. There was this one video where this man made a little wooden picnic table for the squirrels. And he took a picture of the squirrel sitting there eating nuts that he put out there for him. And it looked like, like one of those wooden bench picnic tables, honey. And he knows that that's where he goes, the owner of the house. He just goes out there and puts the little nuts in the little, the little bowl. Cutest little thing I ever seen. So I thought to myself, Rick, I ain't finna try to buy you no picnic table, honey. Wow, this corn is really super sweet. Mmm, this is so good, y'all. So full of flavor. But yeah, they got all kinds of videos out there. Nature. Videos on different lakes and rivers. You just hear the water running down the river. Y'all probably know all this, but I'm just, you know, we just, we just having conversation. Y'all, we just having conversation. But yeah, honey. I thought, mm-mm. Because see, my mama, too, she had said, I had asked her, what are something adventurous that you would like to do? She said, you know what, I wouldn't mind horseback riding. But honey, just like she didn't want to go hop air balloon, you know, take a hot air balloon. Ooh, I don't know if I would want to do no horseback riding. I'm sure when I was little, I got on a horse before. You know how at the county fair they bring the little donkeys or the horses you can get on? I'm trying to just remember, have I ever been on a horse? I, I, can't, I can't recall. I have to ask her. Mm -mm. Sometimes, I, you know, in life, you just got to know what lane to stay in, you know? I get it. That's like people who are afraid of heights. If that's not something that's required in life to do, I get it. I can see if you want to sow your oats and see how, how you know, be a daredevil to see what you can do just for fun. But if it's not necessarily a requirement to live, no, I get it. Tony, my brother Tony's afraid of heights. Tony ain't studying, it, honey. But you know what's funny about that? When we were little, growing up, because see, we came from this era of you went outside and played and then came, didn't come back home to the street light came on. You weren't studying. And that said, was just something wrong with you or you were sick? Please, stand in the house? Please. We was gone all day. When we got thirsty, we turned on somebody's water hose and drank from the water hose, honey, and kept it moving. Oops, excuse me, y'all. But I can remember back then, Tony and his friends and stuff, and me, we would climb trees and try to get to the highest limb, you know. Or they would climb on top of the house and jump down two stories from the house. Ask him, will he do it now? <laughs> I don't know, because he already think he's the bonnet man, because he got a new titanium hip. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that was good, y'all. But yeah. But it's amazing some of the things. And same way with me with my bug phobia. When we were children, we used to catch crickets, lightning bugs. I can still remember catching lightning bugs and watching it illuminate in my hand. And they had a certain smell. That lightning bug had that certain smell to it, you know. And we used to catch crickets and put them in glass jars, and then we we perforate and punch hole in the in the um in the lids. We would always say, uh, "Mama," or like when we stayed with my grandma doing so, "Grandma, don't don't throw that don't throw that jar away. Give it to us." But now my granddad used to love to drink out of a daggone mayonnaise jar. You hear me? So, certain, certain size jars, yeah. But anyway, it's amazing the things that didn't bother you as a child, but now, like pulling up worms, pulling up worms and catching ants and holding them so that with the ones with the little pinchers, and um, pin, we trying to pinch each, uh, do ant fights. Oh my goodness, we used to do that mess. Do ant fights, get two ants together with the pinchers. Please, I ain't, I, please. But anyway, y'all, y'all know how it is. When we were children, we were fearless, weren't we? And some of y'all still think you're fearless, but you found out that your body don't move like it used to. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, y'all, let me go. This was awesome. This was good. I hope you liked the video in the beginning. Just, you know, just showing y'all whipped it together. But anyway, love y'all so much. Y'all have an awesome, awesome upcoming Memorial Day weekend. Y'all already know the flow. We're going to go over Mama House and we're going to eat some more. She's going to throw down for uh, the holiday. I was, yeah, I was searching. I was trying to make it rhyme. <laughs> Anyway, y'all, thank you so much. And again, thank you for supporting my friend. Her channel is D and Me. And um, go check her channel out. She's um, She was so excited and she was so encouraged by the love and support. And I just want to thank y'all again for showing her so much love. Again, I'll put her information in the description box. And go check her out. And I want to thank you so much for stopping on the flavor train. Because what? Flavor is where it's at. Love y'all. Bye y'all.